24. This is Tuesday, and this is the 15th day of the month of February, of March uh, 2022. Welcome to Financial Markets. With me, Julius Suga, and my colleague right there also, uh, Amuriad, as we bring you the latest in uh, what is happening in the world of financial markets. We talk about uh, what's happening in the world of uh, banking and finance, and probably what's happening in the world of the stock market, both locally and also globally. So we are very glad to be actually reaching you wherever you are right now. Follow us on our Twitter uh, handle, Smart24, and also our, um, our other Facebook and social media platforms, just Smart24, and then you'll be able to get the latest of uh, information that basically you will actually uh, need and also will as well need to make very good uh, business decisions and also financial decisions and also investment decisions. So that's what it's all about, to make better investment and financial decisions. So right here we have a lot of uh, news and updates coming up uh, and we're going to be having a very wonderful time looking at some of these very interesting uh, stories and news as we actually drive deep into what's happening in the markets, both locally and internationally. To start with, let's have a look at uh, how Uganda's uh, market, or probably business environment, is right now. Just turn with me right here over to the screen as we basically now give you uh, some of these very interesting updates. Now, it's very much important to keep abreast with uh, some of this information and most especially with the uh, key economic indicators and parameters that basically help us to gauge where the country is in terms of its economic performance. And of course, you have to look at the inflation rate and so many other economic parameters, including the terms of trade, including uh, employment and so on and so forth. So today we're just trying to look at uh, the inflation rate to start with and it's very much important to note that the inflation rate as we speak right now is 3.2 having, having increased from 2.7% uh, uh, in the previous uh, quarter. So right now as we speak, as of uh, last month of uh, February, we have inflation rate going up a bit to 3.2%. So this also has a lot that it explains about the economy and most especially prices of commodities in the economy. So if you look at the food inflation as well, it's still basically remaining the same as, of, uh, as, of, uh, as per Bank of Uganda and World Bank. Basically it says food inflation right now is about 5.3% as we speak right now. So it's just about that at the moment still. So when you look at uh, the core inflation, core inflation is another very much important uh, kind of inflation that uh, basically economists actually use to just uh, to, 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 to also give a glimpse of what inflation is in the country. That is basically you have to subtract the food inflation, the food and also uh, the food and oil. Uh, food and oil inflation, you subtract it to get the core inflation rate. So that is what it is all about. So you're standing right now at 2.3%, uh, having reduced from 29 and now at 2.3% as of uh, this year. So if we probably may look at uh, a very much important, very much important uh, indices right here, you can not really indices, but economic indicators right here, you can actually also have a look at the uh, consumer price index housing utilities. Well, it's standing at what 112 points uh, still right now, just like you can see right over there. So that is the consumer price index housing utilities. So that's where you have all, um, you know, all these things like water, uh, all those bills that probably you pay at home, and it is very much a very important, um, probably even including your, 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 your decoder subscription. So it's basically all in there, electricity and so forth, and so on and so forth. So if you also look at uh, other very much important, uh, very much important uh, kinds of parameters right here, you can see 
uh, you can have a look at uh, you can have a look at the month on month inflation rate the month on month inflation rate well it's basically was previously 0.5 percent and now uh, you know it it it, it uh, now it is a negative 0.3 percent so that's a very huge uh, reduction in the month on month a, um, inflation so it is also a very important uh, parameter to watch just right over there yes so that these are some of the a few economic uh, indicators regarding inflation in the country and also it's very important to note that uh, the consumer price index is also another very much important uh, index that we have to look at because it just gives us a glimpse on how the uh, consumer prices are basically uh, performing uh, operably the the consumer price index gives us a glimpse into the performance of uh, the pricing and inflation on consumer goods. So right here, as you can see, the consumer price index is showing that it is right now at 115 points, having increased from 114 uh, points. So that is very much important to note. So that means probably you have an increase by about one uh, point, which basically should say uh, it is really uh, that that also describes the a bit of inflation that basically increased so much of the consumer price uh, index is basically also influenced by the inflation rate in general so as just like you can see right there so let's now have a look at uh, other very much important uh, updates and most most especially we have to also look at uh, we have to look at the uh, the Uganda Securities Exchange uh, market snapshot, which will give us a very good glimpse of how the stock market in Uganda is performing right now. So uh, let's now have a look at the market snapshot right over there. Yes, so this is the market snapshot, and it is very, it's, it, it looks quite a bit, uh, a little bit exciting today because you can see some form of volatility here and there. Remember that. Uh, a price, a market that is basically uh, price uh, stable, sometimes is not a good one, most especially for investors. It needs to be really a very uh, volatile market for us, for there to be uh, some form of uh, some form of, uh, of, of, of 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 activity. Right here, just as you look at the bank of, uh, as you look at the market snapshot. Let's start with the Bank of Baroda, Uganda. It's also listed on the Uganda Securities Exchange. And just recall that this information is recorded, uh, is just uh, is market snapshot as per the Uganda Securities Exchange right this morning. So many things can go on changing all throughout the day, but this is to give us a glimpse on where some of these uh, stocks are basically uh, currently are right now. When you look at the Bank of Baroda Uganda, its, my, its share price right now as we speak is 90 shillings. And so that is the amount that you would buy a share in Bank of Baroda, a public listed company on the Uganda Securities Exchange. So this is the price at which you would buy um, a share there at this point. So that hasn't much of change of late. As you can see that probably there, not, there has not been much of an activity uh, going on but probably anything can happen all throughout the day also looking at the british american tobacco uganda is trading at a share price of fifteen thousand so it's also still at fifteen thousand for uh, quite a while now and british american tobacco has also been on the use for quite some time now and also uh, trading at a share price of fifteen thousand for quite a while Centum Investment Company uh, Limited is also listed and it's also been at a share price of 438.01. It hasn't changed at all and probably throughout the day anything can happen that can basically change the share price. So you just never know what comes up. There's so many factors that basically do, do affect the stock market each and every day. When you look at Cipla Quality Chemical Industries, it's also trading at a share price of 90 shillings as we speak right now. So it's uh, quite a, a very much important uh, uh, issue to note that it's also been at that uh, for the last few moments. And unless something happens, 
throughout the day that can basically change that. Otherwise, it's trading at a share price of 90 shillings right now. When you have a look at uh, Development Finance Company of Uganda, you have it here. Uh, it is showing that it is trading at a share price of 564.00. However, you can, uh, the market snapshot is indicating that uh, the stock is down by 1.60%. Uh, so a share is basically the price is down by 1.60%. Uh, percent as we speak as of this morning but of course as the day goes along you just never know what happens anything can happen but it is important to note that dfcu uh, limited is uh, share price is basically down by 1.60 percent now when you look at east african breweries limited as well you have it also right here and uh, it's basically trading at a share price of 4,800 and uh, and uh, 86.05 and there is not much of a change on its share price of late because this indicates probably that there there have not been any much of uh, trading going on right over there so it is still at 4,886.05 shillings per share when you look at uh, equity bank limited equity bank limited is also trading at a share price of 1612.88 uh, shillings per share this is Uganda shillings per share and uh, it is also important to note that nothing much has changed on that stock of late kcb is also listed and it is trading at a share price of 1413.64 and this haven't much of change as well as of late. This is KCB Group. This is also cross-listed uh, on the Nairobi Securities Exchange. So you have Kenya Airways is trading at a share price 121.12 shillings per share, and uh, it is also important to note that this has been at this price for the last few moments. We've had it at uh, that particular price. Nothing much. Of late has been recorded as of this morning so it's trading at a share price of 121.12 that's kenya airways mtn uganda limited is uh, also at 180 uh, shillings per share right now if you were to acquire a piece of empty today and so that is the price right now we can say that probably nothing much has changed of late as per this morning as recorded by the USA. If you may look at uh, if you may look at the National Insurance Corporation right here, uh, it's basically showing here that uh, its share price is up by 7.8 percent as we speak right now. This is an interesting uh, figure and scenario. You can see here that uh, this is a very huge jump, and 7.8 is no joke probably of an increase so it is quite a very significant uh, bounce bounce upwards so we, we should say it is it has soared uh, just as of this morning that's the national insurance corporation that's why i say today's market snapshot looks to be a bit exciting because of the volatility. i can see some bit of reds and some bit of greens right over here so that so far we have the national insurance corporation with the highest uh, jump, probably increase in, in its share price, and thus uh, its share price, however, is at 5.10 uh, shillings per share, as we speak. But it's showing that stock is up. This its share price, as of this morning, is up by 7.8%. If you may look at the Nation Media Group, Nation Media Group is also listed and also cross-listed on the Nairobi Securities Exchange. As we're going to see, we're going to see how it's performing in Nairobi as well. And some of these other companies like KCB Group, Equity Bank, East African Brewers Limited, and Omeme, and so many others. So we have nine companies, Ugandan companies listed here. And the rest are basically Kenyan companies. Now, you have Nation Media Group at 632.50. And it is showing here that nothing much has also changed on its share price and thus remaining at 632.50 uh, shillings per share. Now, if you look at also, if you look at also New Vision Printing and Publishing Company, well, this 
had been, of course, uh, it is still listed on the exchange uh, in spite of its previous, uh, in spite of its previous uh, fraud allegations and a bit, a bit of a few issues here and there. However, it is trading at a share price of 160 shillings per share. If you look at Stanbic Bank, Stanbic Bank, Uganda, right now, as we speak, Stanbic Bank, Uganda's share price is up by 1.77% and indicating right now that a share is at 26.04 shillings. So this is uh, quite very much important to know that uh, we have two gainers as of this morning, which is uh, National Insurance Corporation and we have Stanbic Bank Uganda as well. These two are gaining and uh, we have one loser so far. And so it is very also important to note that uh, this is a very exciting moment, especially for me when I see some bit of volatility on the uh, exchange. When you look at Uganda Clays, it's now uh, trading at a share price of 22 shillings per share. That is Uganda Clays, the first, uh, the, first, uh, the first company to be listed on the USE. Umeme is also trading at a share price of 175. Nothing much has happened on its share price as of late. And so we just wait to see how the day basically fares. So these are all the companies listed. There are about 16, 16 of them. And well, you can also have a chance to list your company on the stock exchange because it's a way of raising money through, uh, through uh, the public. So let's now basically now turn to other markets and that is uh, the Nairobi Securities Exchange and have a look at also how it is performing. So let's have a look at the Nairobi Securities Exchange. Yes, this is uh, a very good uh, example of uh, what is happening over there as well. So this is the Nairobi Securities Exchange and there is so much to basically also uh, look at right here. There are many companies listed on the exchange. We may not actually have a look at all of them, but we're going to be looking at the active ones and probably uh, just probably go through the share prices of some of the uh, companies also listed on the exchange. But, but today's uh, table looks to be very volatile and so many losers as well as of this morning. But, well, it's a bit active, we should say. So... As of uh, this morning, coming from uh, CNBC, Nairobi Securities Exchange, let's have a look at some of these companies. For example, when you have a look at Cabasid uh, Investments, Cabasid Investments, its share price is down by 2.24%, and that is an equivalent of a downward movement of about 0.25%. 0.25 points, and that's bringing it to 10.90 uh, shillings. When you look at Equity Bank, Equity Bank, surprisingly today, we don't have anything uh, regarding Equity Bank uh, change in the share price. So as of this morning, we don't have much happening right over there, unless something is basically happening right now or in the next few minutes. But it is showing that nothing has happened on the share price and so still remains at 51.25, 51.25 Kenyan shillings per share. That is Equity Bank. We see Safaricom. Safaricom is also another company listed. And yesterday, by this time, we saw its share price was down. But today, we can see some bit of uh, uh, a green, green light right over here. And today's Safaricom share price is up by 1.41% as of this morning, and thus indicating um, an additional 0 0.50 points on its share price, bringing it to 36 Kenyan shillings per share. When you look at other companies like Kengen, uh, Kengen, some of you actually have invested in these companies, and probably you have a feel, a very good feel of what uh, their performance is like. Now, if you look at Kengen, nothing much has also been reported because probably we may say not much of trading has happened of late, but uh, it's basically trading at a share price of 3.75 Kenyan shillings as we speak right now. That's Kengen. Kenya Power, 
is also another company to look at because uh, it's also a key company over there in Kenya. And it's, re it's being reported that its share price is down by 1.95% and thus down by 0 0.03 points, giving it 1.51 Kenyan shillings per, uh, per, per, per share as we speak right now. Now, Uchumi, Uchumi stock, I'm actually getting to love Uchumi stock because yesterday by this time it had over 4.1% 4 4 uh, uh, it, its, its share price was up by 4.1%, but today it's down by 4.55%. 4, 4 so that's what basically we call volatility and probably some bit of activity happening here and there. This needs to happen probably all the time, almost every day. Uchimi Supermarket, of course, many of us have been familiar with it, and uh, it's no longer operational in Uganda, but in Kenya, it's, very, it's a very active brand right over there. So it's basically down by 4.550 as we speak, and thus down by 0 0.01 points, giving it a 0 0.21 Kenyan shillings price per share. So if you have a look at uh, the Cooperative Bank, Cooperative Bank uh, Kenya, its share price is up by 0.78% and thus 0 0.10 additional points, giving it a 13 shillings per share price as we speak as of this morning. So these numbers, remember, are changing all the time. If we may have a look at Kenya Commercial Bank, we have seen that uh, its share price has uh, increased by about 0.11% as of this morning, and uh, thus 0.05 additional points on the share price, giving it a 45.10 uh, Kenyan shillings per share price. So that's where it is right now. So if you look at other companies, for example, Centum Investment, which is also listed, it is cross-listed on the Uganda Securities Exchange, you can see here, that uh, its share price is up by 1.12% and thus uh, an additional 0 0.15 uh, points, giving it a 13 point, right now trading at 13.50 Kenyan shillings per share as we speak right now. That is Centum Investments. Now, if you may have a look at other uh, companies here, you have Longhorn. Longhorn is also another company to look at. Many of us are familiar with some of these brands. Its share price is down by 5.26, and that's a big loser as of this morning. So Longhorn's share price is down by 5.26%, thus down by about 0 0.20 points, giving it a 3.6 uh, Kenyan shillings per share price as we speak uh, right now. When you look at East African cables, uh, East African cables, its share price is 5.5% up. And that is quite something impressive, giving it a zero point, uh, that is uh, equivalent to additional uh, points of 0 0.06 on its share price, thus uh, giving it a 1.15 uh, shillings per share. So that's it for now, but uh, we have uh, more updates on some of these companies on the Nairobi Securities Exchange. And I'm going to be right back with lots and lots more.